Yo, what's going on, everybody? <laughs> I'm Foyer, and yeah, I'm actually recording a video that's not an April Fool's banished joke. I apologize for that. Not really, because I saw that photo on my first, my, my friends were posting them on, on Facebook. Like, hey, look, banished, banished, banished out. No. And I was like, hey, look, it's fake, but hey, it's pretty cheap for us. Why not? See how many people can actually fall for it. I don't know. A couple of you actually did. I don't know. Uh, uh, it's a, it's a almost. A, I think a little bit of almost to two fifty views. It's kind of crazy. Uh, of course, Ryu helped with that, but I was just posing as a joke. I don't think you get that many views, but Ryu of course had to be the lovable guy. He has to post it on the council Facebook page, and yeah, <laughs> I wonder how many. I wonder how many people out of those views actually fell for it. I'm kind of curious actually. I know a couple people did. No, oh, but anyways, got from work. I got some. Replays, you got two videos, you got Black Wings versus, and the Magic Spectres. More Magic Spectres than Black Wings due to the fact that the Magic Spectres were, uh, kind of not that, that interesting in my opinion, but the Black Wings, same thing probably weren't really interesting. But anyway, see, so I got a new background here, changed it up for a different anime. If you can kind of guess what anime this is, I'm, I'm sure maybe you know what it is, because it's kind of easier. I did the last one, which was, uh, Boku Dake, aka Erased. Can't quite remember who I guessed it, I'll po po Put, 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 put up who had the damn it right and like annotation or text and uh, the video because the power of editing is always nice and new software updates available awesome thank you uh general like no no the fuck computer and scan has started that's awesome anyway let's get started with the black paint replays I got four and forty guys and let's get started I really like this background really fits the theme of the deck my opinion kind of like really following around him right here I don't know if you can see the mouse. I don't know how I have to wrap that up, actually. Anyway, I went pretty good with the black girl and the Bora, of course. There's a blizzard at Black Sonic in my turn. I don't really know what my opponent is playing here, but he's actually playing some... He's playing a Star Assault based deck. That's pretty much what he's actually playing. You can kind of see his other brother just goes home and activate. And I'm a friend of mine, which I don't think he watches. And he doesn't really, he doesn't really do Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore. But back when he did, his favorite deck in the world was Star Assault Mode, and he loved playing it. Like, did, like Dragoon, he Star Assault Mode. Just anything he can make, any way possibly, possibly you can make Star, Star Assault Mode, he would run that shit because it was like his favorite monster. I don't blame him, the card's really stupid. He goes Star Dragon. I was kind of disappointed, I was hoping for a Trish. But of course, I didn't know he was playing Assault Mode. I was like, he was going Star Dust to be safe, so. That was kind of interesting there. I don't know why he didn't chain someone right there. That would have been the better play, in my opinion, to go ahead and get off the bat right now. Because it gives me uh, ample time to pretty much counterattack uh, with my uh, with my Vanity's Infinite here, which completely shuts down Assault Mode, and Star is now gone and never to return. Unfortunately for my opponent here. So, I had no reason to black sound like the Grandma, I really had no reason to consider the fact that yeah, it went out in the middle of the grand mode, but I didn't really see much of a point. I didn't want to lose any infants just yet. He has Twin Twister, he's got Draw of Averse, but it's going to cycle all of his monsters back to the deck. Like, okay. And draw one card. One of monsters, but also his uh, spells and chats. So, Black Sonic, like, you know what? Let's go ahead and get rid of the grand mode. Things going to be a nuisance anyway, so I don't really need infants because infants is kind of stopping me from doing my place now. Goes to Starlight Road, which I thought was very interesting. I haven't seen the card in a while. Or, yeah, since last time I saw Starlight Road was. Heavy Storm, when that was at one, my lord, that was like, how many formats ago was that, when Heavy Storm was at one, I think that was like, gosh, that was like when OCG and TCG first split up into two separate lists, that, it's been that long ago since we've had Heavy Storm, so yeah, it's been a while since we even have Solar Road as a car that was actually used by the mass populace, so that was actually uh, pretty cool to see it actually used. It's just weird because he pretty much knew what was going to happen in the end. Uh, that was the most painful they field and pretty much, uh, go for the kill, go for the win. Anyway, uh, versing a Pendulum deck, Magician Pendulums, and I believe it's, I don't think it's Pepe, let me see. I don't think it is Pepe. I think it's just Magician Pendulums. Yeah, it's just Magician Pendulums with Buster Blader. That's actually pretty interesting in my opinion. I actually kind of want to try that. Like a Buster Blader and the Magician Pendulums, and I guess that's kind of explains some of the stuff like, I guess the, the Dark Paladin. But that's actually pretty interesting. I kind of want to try that now. 
So he opens up pretty bad. Like I, I admit, he opened up pretty bad. And he hit that treasure ship is really, really crucial in my opinion. So instead of the Gale, a Warwind's effect just I get the Pinaka. It's Pinaka's good for later on. Let me search out my uh, for my cards. That's the cards I really need to go to victory. But I really have a bad for him. Like he opened up so bad, and this is kind of an example of how sometimes the magician deck can brick if it's not running like. The necessary cards to help you win, or just like get good, better hands. That's the way I see it. No, for nothing, take out this is how 800 damage. So that way, we take the extra 200 points of damage and set the strike and in turn get the crystal. And guys, that's what we do here. He's got, he's got the dark hole, we're gonna dark hole and destroy that. And now he's gonna go ahead and set his mission of chromancy. His time to get the mission, we're gonna go for the whirlwind. Some of the Boro and attack the board to shout 1100, attack for 1900. I don't run Cowboy, so I can't Cowboy for game. I'm going to force you to search out another Chris. I could have a Lord there, but I didn't see a point in a Lord of Darkness because that was kind of a pointless thing going to get my Chris search. Anyway, I'm going ahead and get the Shore, Lord of Darkness now, banish Shore, summon Chris, get the Whirlwind search, search on Harmer, Harmer can target you, now summon the Gale, sink for the. Right here, I carry destroys, and I should have attacked. If I want to be just bad, I could go attack with Harmerton for the 800 damage kill. But I didn't want to be that douchey. I'm going to say the Bly is the wolf for later, because that was probably the more, I guess, out of all the most interesting, in my opinion. But I'm versing the Buster Bladers! He's on call three in fear of Cosmo. It gets his uh, companion. I'm going to go ahead and notice. I opened up kind of stupid. I will admit, double notice and a black sonic. That was really dumb of me to open up with all this shit. I'm not gonna lie, that was really stupid. So I'm gonna summon my Chris. Attack right to He's gonna drop the gores on me. I could have noticed by that black sonic, and I'm gonna keep notice for later on. Because notice is gonna, you know, would help me later on in the duel. So he's gonna attack. Not even fearing the Kalut. I'm gonna have black sonic. I don't have Kalut, but yeah, he's not gonna fear the Kalut. Like, you know what? No fear. Yo, I'm gonna go ahead and attack. No fuck is given. Attack right to and. That, that's it. I'm not going to overextend. There's no point in overextending. He's got his stretch of seven stars. Twin twistered my strike. Banished for BLS. And that was really unfortunate for me. It's like, well, that kind of just sucks. So we're going to have to play a little game here. Oh, someone blows some Robert It's going to maxi. He's going to get at least a plus one off of this maxi. And Coral Dragon is out to play. This thing is a monstrosity. This thing is a beast. I love Coral Dragon, oh so much. That that one came up too late, but it's too late now. We just ditch that, destroy that, and attack for 400. Coral Dragon is a beast. This thing is such a powerhouse. If you're not playing Coral Dragon in any deck that can make level six synchros, I I don't know what's wrong with your life. Like, I don't know what's wrong with you. This thing is a monstrosity. It's so stupid. Not Brionic stupid, but I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Anyway. Uh, playing against the Blue Eyes player here, this was probably the most interesting because this is actually was probably the most closest match I had with using Black Wings. Out um, of all the replays, it was actually the closest, so. I have a pretty nice hand in terms of really spam the fields for it, but I don't want to do that just yet. I want to play it a little bit safe and kind of try to set up my board a little bit. And to basically try to make sure I have plays in case my bigger plays go null and void. And I feel like it's always the best option because there's 3200 attack when it comes out because of the two monsters in the graveyard and it gives me Pinocchio search, so why not? I didn't want to go Rikiri and, and I don't have Armor Master, I didn't want to go Joe, so that was the better option. He never could take 5000 points of damage, like Owl, that really does stink, that, 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 that's hard, I was kind of expecting you know, to K, but oh well, not really okay, but a, uh, a kill, but now it's time for the Black Wings to show us why they are so powerful at times. My lord, look at this spam fuckery. Miss the blue white spear dragon ain't gonna stop all this because I'm special I'm special learning at different times, different intervals. Intervals. And here's some Zeta. I love Zeta. Zeta is so a really amazing card. And look at this. 4700 attack. My lord, that is stupid. That is stupid. Oh my god. 40 700 attack. That is great. And get that turn of eyes back to his hand. Get the blue eyes. Give me a turn of turn of. Hey, I'm going to special my nothing. Like, yeah, that's how we're going to do it. Take it, you know, 800 boy, and you're down to 2200. It's going to go into his boy, Spur Dragon. I guess not a big deal because I'm not special summoning two monsters or more monsters at the same time. 
Thing is coming out, I'm going to go ahead and bring banners up, boys. Like, no, you're going bye bye. So my uh, my Chidori is going to go ahead and chain his spirit dragon. Moon Lords comes out, and that is the GG right there. Tax from 600, and that is the game. Good sir, GG, Mr. Dad, GG. That was actually the most interesting out of all the games, and I really did enjoy it. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the Blackwing Duels. Uh, Dr. Fowler will come quite soon. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys. Next time, don't forget, name the anime. Name the anime. See if people get it right. I'd be very shocked if no one does. Oh, and Mikey, if you're watching this, you're out of the, you're out of the running because you, I already know you know what it is. Everybody else is fair game. Except for Mikey. Bye.